Hello, welcome to Mr. Brandt's fifth grade everyday math review. In this video, we're going over lesson 4.12, which is decimal addition algorithms. And uh, the one that I'm going to be focusing on this one is just the traditional method. And so let's start with the problem. Eight and 35 hundredths plus 7 and 24 hundredths. Now, adding decimals is just the same as adding whole numbers. The big difference is we need to make sure that we have our decimals lined up. Okay? In this case, both of them have three digits. So we're going to be used to having them, or the way we're used to writing, it's going to be lined up anyway. But just want to double check to make sure our decimal is lined up. Then we start from the right and work our way left just like normal. So 5 plus 4 is 9. 3 plus 2 is 5. And then 8 plus 7 is 15. So our correct answer would be 15 and 59 hundredths. Okay, let's try another problem here. And for this one, let's do 6 and 9 tenths plus 5 and 26 hundredths. Now notice, we have a gap here because our decimals need to be lined up. If it's helpful, you can put a zero in, but you don't have to. For this case, I'm gonna leave it out. So here, nothing or zero plus six is six. Nine plus two is 11. Put our decimal down. One plus six is seven plus five is 12. So we get 12 and 16 hundredths. In both problems, um, I put the decimal down as I was working through the problem. You can also do it at the end, just as long as you remember to put it there. Okay, let's do, let's do one more problem here. And for this one, we're going to do 15 and 53 hundredths. Uh, let's go 537 thousandths plus 12 and 68 hundredths. So again, our decimals are lined up, which means our numbers aren't exactly lined up how we're typically used to. So we can think about this one. Ah, that wasn't very good. We can think about this one being a zero. That's an ugly zero. But then we just add like we normally would. So 7 plus 0 is 7. 3 plus 8 is 11. 1 plus 5 is 6. Plus 6 is 12. I'm going to put my decimal down. 1 plus 5 is 6. Plus 2 is 8. And 1 plus 1 is 2. So 28 and 217 thousandths. Again, the biggest thing when adding decimals, make sure you have your decimals lined up, okay? If we would have written this problem this way, we would have ended up with the wrong answer because our decimals aren't lined up. That is not the correct way to do it. You need to line up the decimals. Okay, let's go ahead and move on to practice at the bottom. Our practice at the bottom is dealing with uh, finding fractions of a number. In this case, um, all the examples are unit fractions, and a unit fraction is when you have a 1 for the numerator. So one strategy that we could do for this is just do a div divide. So take the whole number divided by the denominator, 9 divided by 3 
is 3. So 1 third of 9 is 3. For my next problem, I'm going to do 1 fourth of 13. And since we're dealing with unit fractions again, we could take the whole number, divide it by 4. And if I do 13 divided by 4, I'm not going to get a whole number answer. So I'm going to go ahead and write out a division problem over here. And I'm going to go with uh, 13 divided by 4. So 13 divided by 4. 13 divided by 4 is, I can get three groups of 4 from 13. So there's another way I could say that is 4 threes, or excuse me, I could say 3 4s in 13. 3 groups of 4 in 13. Now I take 3 times 4 to get 12. 13 subtract 12 is 1. That's my remainder. So 3 becomes my whole number. The 1 becomes my numerator. And then the denominator doesn't change. So 1 fourth of 13 is 3 and 1 fourth. Uh, thanks for watching the video today, and hopefully you can join us in another one.